League, welcome to the Rocket Smith. It's time for another rocket review. This time we have the reissue of the Estes Leviathan. There is no front plate sheet on here that tells you anything because the original reference uh, motors that Aerotech made. Aerotech now owns Quest, Estes' biggest competitor, but regardless, I don't even know if that's really the reason or if they're just like, eh, it's a re release, we don't need to return that, save on costs. Uh, anyways, we're going to open it up, take a look at it, and I'm going to give you my kind of unbiased opinion. This is my favorite Estes kit of all time, because it's basically the biggest. <clears throat> it is a 3 inch diameter Estes Pro Series tubing. Um, it has the Big Daddy nose cone, which I'm uh, not a fan of, but the fit and finish is pretty solid on this one. It is superior to the uh, Lock Fortes. Um, but this angle right here uh, has caused ejection problems with the Big Daddy. It's not as big of an issue in the Leviathan because you're using 29 millimeter motors and they have a bit more oomph in their ejection charge regardless of what brand you use. I've never actually seen this have a problem. And this is much, much thicker and more durable than the one that was on the Forte. Although there is no center way to mount it really easily. There is a hole there. You could do stuff with it to put uh, mounting on there. Or you could make a uh, make a bulkhead to attach to the bottom of this with a, a proper quarter 20 hole. You could put a, an eye bolt in. We do have a through the wall airframe with this. There's a coupler. That ties that to the upper airframe. It is a single deploy rocket uh, with no separated payload bay. Uh, <clears throat> fit and finish on these tubes is top quality, I think. I don't, uh, Estes does a pretty, pretty solid job on their, their tubing. Um, you can hardly feel it, although you can see the white, the winding on here, you can hardly feel it. So it should be pretty easy to fill if you're really into painting rockets very, very well. It's something I'm not really that interested in. You have, unlike the previous two rockets, uh, unlike the Wildman Punisher or the Forte, and perhaps others I review, there are instructions in here. There are instructions. We have instructions. Um, I believe, if I recall correctly, yeah, it does use the regular Estes, uh, like Z fold mounting for the parachute, which is just a terrible idea uh, on a rocket this size, I think. We have a 29 millimeter motor mount, which is fine for three inch cardboard. Uh, Estes is making 38 millimeter motors, so I really don't expect them to put a 38 millimeter motor mount on here. Also, yeah, it's, it's just, it's not gonna happen in an Estes rocket to have that. They do include a motor block, which is something you should not install. Uh, there is zero reason for a motor block in this rocket. Um, I have built one of these before, so the reason why there is zero reason for a motor block in this rocket, if you have never built a higher power rocket or seen a higher power rocket, you retain the motors in a different manner uh, than the Estes ones do. The Estes ones have this little hook and they have a motor block at the top of the tube. Uh, the motor block in the top of the motor tube prevents the motor from going forward and the clip prevents the motor from exiting the back of the rocket. What we do in higher power stuff, and this is something that Estes added, and this is a motor retainer. This is a 29 millimeter motor retainer. It is a two part system. You epoxy with JB Weld that part there and you screw on this end. You also create a lip. If you have the Estes motors, you have to use a little bit of masking tape to create a lip around the aft end of the motor. All of the other high power motors have that lip built in. Um, so you don't have to do that. Uh, not necessarily, I should say, it's not necessarily high power motors. This is a Economax F67. And I don't know if you can see it there, but there is like a lip at the end of it. And that lip prevents the rocket from going forward. And then when you clamp it with this, that very same lip prevents the rocket from going backwards once this is thoroughly attached. 
Like I said, quarter inch masking tape, you can find that in any hobby shop and you can make that lip on the Estes motors. Three or four wraps is fine. Next thing, uh, again, into retention. Whoa, we got other parts in there too. We have an elastic cord. Um, this is a bit different than most Estes elastic cords. It's way thicker. Uh, I have seen this get kind of crusty after seven or eight launches. Um, yeah, there's no chute protector in here, so there's nothing to really protect this from the exhaust gases of the motors. There's a lot more exhaust gas uh, for our ejection charge gas in these bigger motors. I'm not a big fan of this, but honestly, the biggest thing I don't like about this recovery system is using the Z-fold piece of cardboard and gluing that to the side of the tube like you do with the smaller Estes rockets. I think that's a recipe for disaster. Get an eye bolt. It uses quarter inch uh, rod mounts. Honestly, anything over two and a half inches in diameter, you should be switching over to uh, rail buttons, which is what I do. So I use rail buttons on basically all of my bigger rockets. I don't use, I don't like the, the poles, the rails are just so much stiffer. Um, and you can get some really kick butt motors going in this thing. So let's take a look. We have a decal or a sticker, I'm not really sure which. We have the warranty card. We have our centering rings. Let's see how well they fit. These should be tight, but not immovable. There are only, oh, there are three. We do have three centering rings, so we do have the optimal centering rings. They are not pre-drilled for recovery because it doesn't expect you to do recovery that way. Where did my warm-up tube go? Right here. And they fit on snugly, but easily, which is nice. We have three fins. For those who are wondering, the back end of this rocket and these fins are identical to the Big Daddy. Yes, this Big Daddy. Um, and we will see how well these fins fit this tube. I recall having to do quite a bit of sanding the first time I built this. We'll see though. Things could have changed, could have gotten better. Uh, cardboard swells and shrinks based on humidity too. That's another thing to keep in mind. These fit really, really well. Um, they do go a little deep. And I do have one oh, thing I don't like about designs is I don't like fins that extend beyond the bottom of the rocket because the rocket comes down under parachute vertically and it hits the fin first. Not a big fan of that, but this is not a very heavy rocket. Um, I have on previous ones chipped the tip here a little bit when it landed on concrete, but it's nothing that's going to get you like DQ'd from a level one. I have uh, my nephew did his level one on a modded Leviathan that had a 38 millimeter motor mount. We just drilled out the motor mount um, and then put a <clears throat> did our recovery with a uh, an eye bolt through the top centering ring as opposed to the glue it to the inside of the tube. Uh, totally doable to do level one on this rocket. It's 90 bucks for as long as Estes has stock. Um, if you can find it, you can also get a plywood upgrade kit for the Big Daddy. There is a third party manufacturer who does that and I will link that in the description below. That will come with a 29 millimeter motor mount, plywood centering rings, plywood fins and then the forward tube and the coupler. Parachute. That's the last thing to actually check out here um, as it comes around. Tear that open. I really like the Estes nylon chutes. They are cheap. They are reasonably thick. They do not have a spill hole. I would say if there's one problem, the lines are not uh, long enough on here. This one actually already has a hole in it. Um, which is kind of eh. this little tiny hole. I will fly that anyways. I, I fly parachutes that are beat the crap. Um, but I actually do like the quality. It is hemmed at the edge, unlike the uh, the Forte we saw 
before ripstop nylon. I do like the Pro Series parachutes that Estes sells with these. Uh, you can get these Pro Series parachutes outside too. You can order the, a 24 and a 30 inch. And then the Pro Series 2 designer kit, you can get a 15 and an 18 inch, I think. Uh, hopefully those will come outside of that kit sometime soon because I really, really like these parachutes for smaller rockets like this. Yeah, all in all, it's probably a seven and a half out of 10 kit. Um, there's a lot of mods I, I think are kind of necessary, like the recovery point mod, moving that to the centering ring. Um, but other than that, I suggest this kit. The instructions are excellent. The fit and finish is excellent. Yeah, uh, and it is reasonably priced for everything you get out of here.